this out. This is a pretty cool. All the, the art in a strange way. Yeah, it's all very arty around there. This is Bill Bow. Yeah, I really can't be bothered to start. A, a, it's like 260, 270 mile tour. I've just not got it in me now because of all the heat, and uh, you know, I'm not going to make excuses. I really can't be bothered to, you know, get it going on because I'm here now, and it's just so nice. It's, it seems almost a shame to kill myself on the hills now, just to say I've done it, you know. But now I'm in the Basque country, which is where I wanted to be. And also, there's, I've had a look, there's a lot more kind of, a lot more going on around the coast. And yeah, I want to practice my Spanish a bit more. I've already done a bit um, the, 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 past, the past few days. God, they speak so fast, don't they? But it's, uh, I've, I've asked a few times, um, uh, dice otra? <laughs> they seem to understand what I mean. They seem to say it again. But yeah, I'm just getting the pronunciation and stuff. But no, it's all, it's all good stuff. Anyway, onwards and upwards. There's the steed. This is great fun, pushing your bike oh, up. 
these rutted tracks of madness. Look at these stones. You can't cycle like that. The, uh, hang on, I'll, ch I'll show you the elevation. I'm that dot there. Still got all that to go. I've been coming up that all morning. I swear the, um, I swear the elevation chart on that bike packing route's wrong. Because this is, this is like, well, it just never ends. But yeah, anyway, anyway, keep going up into the woods. Yeah. first Camino de Santiago sign that I've seen. This little woodland, the trail actually carried on down that way, but it looks a bit well. It looked like it was just going downhill, so I didn't want to get stuck on a, you know, on a on a hill when it's time for sleepy time, you know. And the sun was just starting to go down a bit. I haven't seen anybody. The trail was going this way along there. I want to go that way in the morning. Um, yeah, seems as good a place as any. There's nothing over that side where the view is. The view's over there, but it's so steep over that side. If I camped up, I'd end up rolling down. <laughs> I'd end up rolling down the Blinking Hill, <laughs> which would be interesting, wouldn't it? Anyway, I'm gonna wait till it goes dark. Just want to check. There is a there's a hunting lodge thing at the top there. You can see through the trees. No one's kind of going there, but then do people hunt at night? I don't know. So anyway, I'm just going to chill out here. There's a bit of kind of flattish ground there. That's the closest thing I've found to flat ground. It's all very slopey. So yeah, this is the bit. At, at that shop, I took a picture of whatever it was. There was a omelette kind of thing. You know, those Spanish omelettes, bloody lovely. While I was there, um, I got them to make me this uh, chicken and um, salad like big foot long roll kind of thing and I've kind of been munching that all day long I've just um, had about half of it left I've just finished that I am stuffed so my chicken curry survives another day so yeah bloody hell you can see where my strap's been bloody hell I've heard there's a motorbike every now and again or something motorbike sounding over there and because of that hunting lodge it's just put me a little bit on edge I know there might be hunting deer or something but as long as it's over there and not over here, then we should be all right. I haven't heard any gunshots or anything, but they might be waiting until sunset or something, I don't know. Anyway. Well, it doesn't look like it, but the sun's basically gone down now. Over there, somewhere. This is lovely. This is day three, day three. I'm not really counting the miles anymore. It's, I'm over 100 miles for three days. It's not much, I know, but the hills have just been relentless. So this is just perfect. Just taking it in my own sweet time. <sighs> oh, yeah. Birds are tweeting away. Beautiful. So yeah, you never know. I might see some wildlife or something in the night time. If I see anything really cool, then I'll bring you back. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the morning. Buenas noches. You're right, I had to bring you back. It's about half ten. This is lovely. It's brilliant. I felt a few drops of rain, but it's supposed to be... I've checked the weather, and it's supposed to be 0% chance of rain. So, but I'm way up high, so I don't know if or not some clouds are passing or something. I don't blink in there, but hopefully it doesn't come to anything. I can always wrap the um, tarp around the tree. But yeah, another first for me. I'm, I've not even got my sleeping bag out. 
it's so mild it's apparently not going to go down any more than 16 degrees tonight so yeah looking forward to this so I've just put my got my bivy and my sleep mat I've pumped that up and this little divot in, in the ground is perfect so yeah I want to get, get some sleep now guys I'll see you in the morning